Hey guys, welcome to the video. Um, I'm gonna be doing a vlog today, just about what I do all day, and then I'm also gonna be talking a little bit about intermittent, intermittent fasting and my plans with that. So it's just a little bit of a life update. So, welcome to the video, I hope you enjoy. I'll see you in the next clip where I wake up and get ready for the day. Enjoy watching my life. <laughs> Today I'm wearing the Gymshark leggings. I think they're like the Flex 2 leggings. Um, in purple, lilac, and the shirt from Iron Theory Athletics, and they sent it to me, so thanks to them. That is what I'm wearing today. Those are the vitamins I'm taking. That's how I do my makeup and weigh myself. It's like what I do in the morning, every single morning, and it's 5.30, so I'm ready to get my day started. So I feel like I have done so many things since I talked to you guys last. Oh, well, let's see, a little life update. I've, I started an online class. It's my last class ever. I'm so, so excited. Uh, I have been really like investing a ton of time into my online training and I'm really loving it. It's, it's, it's really good. It's going very well. I'm moving out of my home. Um, I'm moving in with my parents for the next month until I leave uh, for California. That's the plan my little mini life update, because you care, <laughs> I'm sure. Um, I'm gonna go do some work right now, and that's, that's my life, that's what's happening. So, coffee is going to be a venti Americano, two pumps, sugar-free vanilla, two stevia, and a little splash of almond milk. And I'm gonna try this whole intermittent fasting thing I'm gonna try and wait until 11 to eat, but it's already only six and I'm kinda hungry, so. It's really hard to do intermittent fasting when you wake up so early. I, I don't really count almond milk as breaking your fast, even though it technically is, but I'm not really doing it for like the fasting effect. I'm just doing it because I want to wait and push my meals back a little bit. I will keep you posted on how that goes. Probably won't be successful, but if I am, I'll let you know. If you don't hear anything, I probably wasn't. See you inside. So, I'm the only one at Starbucks, like the only one. So I got my coffee really fast. I am seriously, guys, so dependent on coffee right now. It's really bad, I need, I need to get better. I've been working out really early in the morning, like five o'clock right when I wake up, and I just have noticed that I haven't had like my total strength, obviously because it's five in the morning. But I'm gonna try and like push off my workouts until the afternoon a little bit, and yesterday, on Sunday, I did an afternoon workout and it was so nice. I had like strength, I had energy, it was great. So I think I'm focused on putting my workout off later. So plus with intermittent fasting, I don't wanna be really working out and then fasting for another six hours before I eat. I'd rather eat and then um, work out. So I'd rather break my fast at like 11 and then work out at like maybe one or something like that. So comment down below what time you work out on a normal day. Because I've worked out all different times. Like I used to work out at nine at night. Now I cannot do that. Um, and then I work out at like four or five in the morning sometimes. So I'm gonna try and make like a happy medium and we'll see. But that's the lowdown. I'll try and keep you guys posted on my day. Have a good morning. I might edit part of this video so I don't have to later. And I'm gonna try and like film my workout for you guys. I, I hate filming. So I know a lot of people and then they all judge me. So we'll see, we'll see. Okay, bye.
Also, really quick, I wanted to talk about two books that I've been reading that are really freaking good. These guys, um, Rich 20-something, Get Your Average Job, Start the Epic Business, and Score the Life You Want. Um, Daniel D. Piazza wrote this. I follow him on Instagram. He's kind of a stud. He has a podcast. He's really good. Um, so I started reading this. It's pretty good. And then this one, it's called The One Thing. It's by Gary Keller with Jay Papasin. <laughs> and it's about how you can't focus on so many different things, but rather focus on one thing and be the best at that one thing that you can be. So everyone has one thing, he says, that one thing that you're supposed to do on this earth. And um, your goal is to find that one thing and to enhance yourself on that one thing more than anything else and it's a super easy read there's like charts and diagrams so it's like a really fast read and the chapters are super short so it makes it go really fast but highly recommend this anyways those are my favorite books right now so check them out if you want to borrow i got you i'll lend them to you if you don't lose them Hey guys, so I just realized that I didn't really talk about what intermittent fasting is. I just kind of assumed that you all knew. Um, and so I kind of thought maybe I'll just talk about it a little bit to give you a little bit of value in this video rather than just watching me live my life. Um, so intermittent fasting, you have a fasting window and then you have a feeding window of specific hours throughout the day. And you can do this so many different ways to accommodate your lifestyle and really that's what it is. It's not a way of eating or a diet, but it's just um, like a little lifestyle switch. Uh, basically, I really, really like eating and I eat a lot and so the second I start eating, I get like ravenously hungry the rest of the day. So what I found is that the later in the day that I can push my meals back, um, like later in the afternoon, the better because then I can eat bigger meals after I start eating and then I, I feel more satiated, I feel more full. And so that's where intermittent fasting has kind of been beneficial for me and I really want to get into it um, to the point where it's like really consistent and it's but every day that I have done it, it's it's really helped me stay full, especially when I'm in like a deficit. So basically, my there's several different windows you can do. A lot of people do like um, 16 hours of fasting and eight hours of feeding, which is what I do. But then there's also some where you do like 20 hours of fasting and four hours of feeding, and I don't think I could really do that. I mean, I probably could, but I like the 16-8 split. So, yeah, so basically for those eight hours from 11 to seven, I will eat my meals and I eat the same amount of calories I would on a normal day, but I eat it in a shorter amount of time because I wake up so early. When I eat my first meal at like five in the morning, then I eat my second meal at nine and then my third meal at noon and then half my meals are already done and it's only noon. And so this way I eat my first meal at 11 and I might eat my second meal at like two or three rather than nine in the morning. So my food kind of just like lasts me a little later at night because I like to eat at night. If you like to stop eating at like three or four in the afternoon, five, six, that's totally fine. But I get really hungry around like six or seven. So it's not that it helps you lose weight necessarily, but I think it helps people from overindulging above the amount of macronutrients that they're supposed to have for the day. Because you might be on track all day long and then at 7 p.m. you're like, hmm, cookies sound really good. So you go to the fridge and you eat 12 cookies. So you're falling off the wagon a little bit, um, eating more calories than your body is used to. So if you start eating your meals later and you have a really big meal at six or seven, you might not have those cravings that you would normally have where you indulge later in the day. And a, a few tips with intermittent fasting to not break your fast till later in the day is stay busy in the morning. So I like to like work in the morning and do all those things. And it's really nice not to have to worry about breakfast until like 11 in the morning, I don't have to worry about it. So I really focus on other things. Um, another thing is try and like sleep in. I don't, I don't mind sleeping in but I can't. <laughs> so I wake up and I work a little bit and then I try and like drink things. So I will drink apple cider vinegar or a lot of water, BCAAs, coffee, um, Powerade Zero, anything with zero calories, tea, lemon water, those kind of things. If it has calories, technically it's breaking your fast. So like the almond milk that I have in my coffee will break my fast, but I really don't care because I'm just doing it so that I can eat later in the day. I'm not really doing it to be like in a fasted state completely. Just stay busy and drink a lot of fluids and that'll help you. But then the rest of the day you can eat really big meals, which is like 
the best. To feel like satiated and full after a meal is just awesome, especially when you're in a caloric deficit eating under your maintenance amount of calories where you might normally be a little more hungry. So that is like the basic gist of intermittent fasting. I hope this helped you guys at all. If you have any questions or want to try it, just like reach out to me and I'll let you know anything else that I can find out. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try it out, see how it goes this week. I used to do it quite a bit, but I'm, I'm going to get back into it and dabble a little bit in the intermittent fasting world. So there's my little informational section for you of this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you later today because it's only about nine o'clock and half of this video is already filmed. All right. I'll talk to you soon. I'm rambling. Okay. Ah, mm, bye. Uh. So it's about 10.44, so I'm about to break my fast, but I won't be able to film it because I'm gonna be in public. So I'm going to eat this mush. It's 76 grams of avocado, two strips of bacon, and two eggs. I found that if I have breakfast without carbs in it, I stay fuller for longer afterwards rather than if I have carbs in my breakfast. I usually get like that little hunger bug and I want to just eat everything. So I've started to just limit myself to like fat and protein for my um, first meal and that helps me stay uh, fuller longer throughout the day, especially when I'm intermittent fasting then I can have like a F ton of food later at night. So that's the plan. I'm going to go to Costco here soon. What's up guys? I'm going to make a pre-workout meal and then go to the gym. My battery's at 2% so I won't be filming my workout but I'll talk to you really quick. Um, before my workout I'm going to do BPI's glutamine and snow cone and this random thing they sent me is called amino pump. I don't really know if it's from BPI or like it's from Cutler Nutrition so I don't know why they sent it to me. Um, and then I'm going to take this bomb ass fat burner. Seriously the best fat burner ever. 20% discount with the code that I'm going to type across the screen here. Roxy lean. Um, a lot of people think that it's just for girls, but I've had a few guys get on it as well And they're like holy shit. This is the best fat burner. I've ever had I'm really hyper right now. I haven't even taken any pre-workouts So I don't think I'm gonna I'll do the fat burner I'll still do the fat burner because I want to sweat a lot during my workout second thing I'm gonna have protein waffle ISO HD vanilla cookie BPI and one egg teaspoon of baking powder mix it all up cook it 1% battery Okay, and that is it. Drink some water, and then I'm going to go to the gym and get a good workout. And I'll see you later tonight, and I'll show you some more of my meals. Hey guys, so I just got done with my workout, and I wanted to talk really quick about how much of a placebo effect pre-workout can have on you, because I was like, oh my god, yeah, I feel like I have such a good pump, and like I'm working out like so hard, and I'm sweating so much, like the Roxy Lean makes me do. And um, I thought I took it, but apparently I didn't, and it was at the front desk, the entire time and I was leaving the gym and my roommate was like hey you forgot your uh, pill <laughs> and I was like oh shit like <laughs> I thought I took that so had a great workout good pump without pre-workout didn't even notice so pre-workout is not necessary to have a good workout it's all about your mindset so note to self I'm at 1% battery still but anyways good workout that's all I had to say <laughs> I'm dumb. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, like it down below with a little thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not because that's like, <sighs> helps me a frick ton. And I wanna get like more subscribers so I can talk to more people. Yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the little uh, section about intermittent fasting. If you learned something, Comment below what you learned and then what you want to see so that I have more information for the next video for you. I'll talk to you guys soon. Hopefully I'm getting up two videos this week. I love you all. See you in the next one.